everyone. Today's video is going to be a daily wear terracotta set. I've named it abstract polka. This is the pendant. You see uh, it's beautifully fired. It's bisque fired and uh, please find the link in the description on how I made the pendant um, as well as the studs. I've also laid out the paints. Uh, I'm going to be using acrylic black, antique gold, red and blue. Um, so these are the paints that I'm going to be using for this particular pendant. All of them are acrylic paints and with regard to paint brushes I'm just going to be using an 8, 6 and a 1. Uh, one of them obviously the 8 probably for the um, for the varnish and um, the other two for the pendant. So I'm adding these two uh, cylindrical uh, beads as well. We've got a head start by just painting them with uh, diluted black. Uh, now with the, for the pendant as well as the studs, again a nice even coat of black paint. It's using a broad soft bristle uh, round brush for this. I have uh, named this particular piece as abstract polka. Uh, the reason is, uh, to be very honest, when I was thinking about a name, I, nothing came to mind. So uh, when I just looked at uh, the pendant, it was obviously divided into two halves, uh, one half which had dots. Uh, and the other which just had uh, freestyle painting so hence I just put, put it across as abstract polka. So uh, the dots are, um, I'm, I'm doing this in um, red, gold, blue, gold and red and that will be the order for the pendants. So it's just predominantly red, gold and blue. The blue to me really stands out, um, so which is why I've just chosen to do a single um, color on the pendant. It really stands out. It's a beautiful, lovely blue. Uh, I like this color a lot and um, I think the combination just blends well. I think red and blue is also a really nice combination. Red and black goes well, gold and black goes well, blue and black goes well. So, so everything just blends in really well. Uh, if you're aware of uh, you know my work, if you've been following my work, uh, you obviously know that this is something that I really enjoy doing. Uh, I do this kind of painting with my liner brush. Um, once again, it's it's totally an individual choice. Uh, some of you may like it, some of you may not. Uh, it's totally up to you if you want to do this, or you can also choose to leave the other half uh, free. Um, if you are if you're not very comfortable doing this, you want to practice a little bit, you can try doing something like that on a piece of paper uh, just, till you're, um, just, till you're, just till you're really comfortable with uh, doing it with a brush. So this is it, we're almost uh, at the end of the uh, painting and you see that you know it's really nice, it's colourful, vibrant, I'm repeating the same uh, rather similar set of designs uh, for the stud as well. To me, this just uh, there's something about this whole process, and it just flows. Uh, like I said, there's not too much of a thinking process that goes into that. Why, especially when I'm doing that kind of designing, uh, my head is honestly just very blank. Uh, in other words, it's actually very calm while doing that particular style of design. So for the beads, I'm just doing uh, gold um, on that on that little strip, and uh, adding red dots. I'll be adding blue dots as well in this manner, I'm just keeping it simple, keeping it really simple. So if you see everything is uh, ready over here, time to varnish, the paint has dried, this is the product I use. Give it a good shake and transfer a little bit of the contents into a bowl or a container. And using a soft bristle brush, paint all over, make sure this completely dries before moving on to the next stage which, which is assembly. There you go, I've placed everything that is needed for assembling this set. The varnish is completely dried. I'm using stud posts for this, uh, just a golden color stud post. Using a couple of wooden beads once again, if you have terracotta beads, please feel free to do that. I'm a little pressed for time right now and I don't have this size beads right now. I mean, I don't have them made, so um, I haven't really had the time. Uh, this is E6000, this is the glue that I, the, rather the adhesive that I use for the studs, the wooden bead. This helped me adjust the length of the chain, the black cord, this is approximately 3 to 4 mm in thickness. 
my pliers another thing is uh, i'm going to be i also have added a uh, about four textured beads in this uh, you'll get to see so i apply a, a nice even coat and i press down uh, the stud post on in this manner so what i'm doing is i'm just i'm just pressing it down so that it i'm making sure it sticks really well I give it about that has to dry for 72 hours uh, before actually using it. So this is how I've used the other two uh, textured beads. I'm using four textured beads uh, for this particular set. I just think it looks really nice. Uh, there's something uh, there's something very nice about the earthy color, and it also goes well with everything. So once the set has been assembled, obviously I put in the wooden bead. I take the help of my plier just to make sure it goes in there it's nice and firm i tie the i tie the knot now for the wooden beads i'm going to be using both red and blue um, obviously my last couple of videos uh, this is how i have been um, um, doing the uh, the tassel part this is how i've been ending the piece basically i just think it's a very nice way uh, you know this just uh, why is everything there only in the uh, you know towards the pendant uh, something nice can be added on to the tassels as well so rather apart from just the regular set of tassels i think this is a nice unique way of uh, you know finishing off a uh, neck piece and there you go I just making sure it's all nice and tight so uh, just cutting off the edges and um, obviously I burn them I burn the tip off making sure it's all sealed in well and that's it the pendant is ready so I really hope you all enjoyed watching the video I think it's a beautiful beautiful pendant I really like the outcome and the way the colors blend in so well together I think red and blue is a nice lovely combination um, I have a sari in this color so uh, thank you again for your time everyone please do let me know what you think of the video in the comments and you'll also find the necessary links below uh, thank you once again thanks for watching bye